If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Hello everyone. Um, I accidentally kicked my Good. PS4, Your first and the disc team is out. came out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. So yeah, your first boy here. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs, which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Easy. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then... Let me know if you're interested. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. So yeah, you just need 50% genome to release these guys. I want to name this guy Stripes. And I'm going to name this guy. The Socializer, because they seem to be making lots of noise. should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Ooh, could sell that for money. I'll make a little forest over there. Come on. Guys, go. Oh god, they made a lot new. Come on, guys, go freaking get cover. You guys all happy? Oh, I need to give you, give you guys food. Come on, buddy. Let's get your food. No, they're all eating from the same one. Now the fossil's looking. Okay, just about to finish this ad. This amber one's probably going to complete. What I did with this part of land, no one knows what to do with this. I built a huge and long Velociraptor enclosure. Because <laughs> they, they run pretty fast and they like large spaces. So I decided to give them large spaces. 
Or you. Like us, I don't different dinosaurs you. require different diets. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder how in the enclosure. How are you, I'm stripes? a red meat man myself. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh. Good boy. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new director of operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay. You're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me or manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. I have a mission going on already. That's going to involve me getting a new dinosaur. That's a lot important than your um, help or whatever you have offering. I'm going to head to Portugal because I want some carnivores. Okay, next you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. Okay, I need an ACU. see reload speed. I'm pretty sure we gotta tranquilize that guy. Can we research? Let's research medical treatment. Uh, we gotta be careful with our spending now. Once we bring this dinosaur into the world and we complete this, we'll be at maybe 200 million by the time. Okay. I need peoples. You guys didn't. Oh, yes. Release. It's almost done with that. Research item. Research center. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to building upgrades. Um, USB. Uh, why not? I don't want to hurt. Oh yeah, I can sell that. Uh, we only really need one of these, so I'm gonna sell the other one for sixty thousand. Okay, we're back. We're back up to a million. Building our ways back up. The first time I ever did this, uh, I, I was huge in debt. I, I, these guys are actually happy for once. Derp. Right. This okay. next bit is going to sound a little crazy because, frankly, it is. But we are going to encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. I, 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 get ready. Pilot.
Come on, break through. expensive. You should get that fixed and soon. A ranger team is equipped for that. Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. You have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor. I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full. Okay. You'll need to call in the offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Collecting asset. I don't really want to do this. Head to another strong point. Now I want to pilot this. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. It's rhetorical. And painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our hearts. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Okay, let's try to put him in the water. I thought I... I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. Go, I go, go! In what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Sedated you.
to my roof. The job finished. True and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. Guess we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first. Us, or them. Ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit... <laughs> And for <sighs> violence. Way to go. Okay, well, we're gonna need another one of these. Okay, we're gonna no longer be in like a duck duck. Okay, let's add a thing for guests. Let's add it right next to the entrance because that's how marketing works. Make them walk all the way over to food so they're hungry um, but they eat more. No, give me another research. We have power. Does this cost money? Oh yeah, that costs money. Okay. Do we have a triceratops yet? Well, we do. Okay, let's add two of those beauties. Artificial. Thank 
Here's a new security contract. Interested? I think it's time we build new enclosure. This is gonna really put us in debt, but I can handle it. We're getting $52,000 a minute. No power. Boy, look at How much is building a wall is gonna cost? Bro, that's expensive. I would like to get an electric fence, but they cost too much power. Are you happy? And are you happy? <laughs> I 
Okay, that, that, that's a lot of money. Guess we just wait for these guys to come back. We're getting fifty thousand dollars a minute. And in two minutes we'll have only three hundred and thirty one thousand. It's too slow. to China. So yeah, um, this game has a lot of patience. All right now I'm getting 53,000. solve a few more problems. I get for guests. Nothing really new. This is going to be my car carnival enclosure. This contract has just come in. I'm giving you first shot at it. Oh, uh, yeah, I can do the viewing galleries. No problemo. I'm Owen Grady, Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you.
So you've got dinosaurs your guests want to get up close and personal with. The thing is, they can't. Construct facilities to increase visibility and keep visitors the right side of the safety glass. From where I'm standing, that's job done. Kinda desperate for cash. So I'm just gonna keep on sending these out and seeing what good like resources I can find. And completely sell everything. He's sleeping. Electrified concrete. No T Rex would get out of that. Put up some of those walls. Damn, these things are expensive, though. Dang. Why for that a tiny bit of room? <laughs> We're gonna set up two live bait feeders. <laughs> Close to the <laughs> uh, I should probably get to landscaping. Pond is a with the rock islands. It's like there is its own little tiny is the new bladder. I 
Alright, now we're just gonna send these guys in blindly. Depth. Am I going depth? I gotta know. Oh no, I'm getting even more money. Almost 70,000 per minute. Wish I made that much in real life. Oh, I'm gonna swipe. See, okay, he's just looking for some water. First boy just feeding. I kind of like this enclosure. You know, there's even goats in it. And that's how we're just gonna stay fed. He is pretty expense, so I'm gonna have to wait. And then I could probably fill one more enclosure right where this pond of water is, and that will probably be my velociraptor enclosure. Or I'll find something different for that. But Yeah, seventy one thousand. <laughs> Alright everyone, that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna save this. guys that's it for today and i'll see you all maybe later today tomorrow but yeah see you guys